Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. Um, today we're going to um, just run through dis disassembling one of the um, the genuine um, Unimat SL uh, milling vices. Now um, it's uh, as you can see, it's pretty pretty small. So I've got a really nice. This one is really nice, super condition. This is another one that's very bent nothing nothing straight on it and it's been thoroughly abused so um we'll we we'll, we'll look at the good one um so we've got the t nuts there that secure it to either the um where the tool holder is or the um uh the milling table so if you just we we'll take those off to start with so all we do is just wind back the fixed jaw now it's really interesting, actually, let me put that back a bit. This one's quite interesting to note. There's absolutely no clearance between the the nut uh, or the Allen screw, cap head screw, and the, um, uh, the movable jaw. And as you can probably see, let me, if we take that one out, and we'll take that one out. At some time in its life, this one's been this one's been ground down, uh, that one still seems to be intact. And actually when I experimented they only go in one way um, because obviously the the drilling into the casting um, wasn't quite quite right. So um, so first thing to do is we can take off the removable jaw, uh, sorry the fixed jaw and all it is is two, two screws. Now I've taken this thing apart and Given it a clean up so it's not a you know nothing's tight but again if it is tight I would suggest uh, giving it a good clean out these uh, these holes and you know a bit of a soaking penetrating or WD or something you know uh, just to leave it for a while let it try and get through and loosen up the, uh, the screws um, uh, I'm waiting for a small uh, impact driver to come, uh, Scott, Scott Russell, I think it is, um, uh, gave me the tip on a good one, so that's, uh, that's quite good. So that takes the, uh, the back jaw off, uh, so that's, uh, that's as a, this is a nice one, so you're all fine. So we got those two bits, so that's fine. Now if we turn the, turn the vice upside down, we've got one screw there. Uh, now this all sounds very basic, but it's fine. It's, it's as always with the Unimat. When you know how to do it, it's easy. So that one comes off, <coughs> and you can see the the plate is uh, set. The hole's not in the centre. So what you need to remember is the uh, you want the most of the metal at the back. And I'll show you on the other one in a minute why. Now what's interesting here is when you, now what you can see is you've got the the hole where the thread went in and then there's another hole there. Uh, if we turn it upside down, on here you can see, let me see if I can get that in focus, camera's gone dead. Uh, you can see uh, a small pin or you can see a hole. So if you just put that down um, and you need a pin punch what you can do uh, so now uh, let's see that's there and we can take that out now all that is that, that's all there is and we can see the hole revealed a bit better on the other side now what that allows you to do if we if we take this the the screw out here I don't know what it's technically called, but you've got a hole there, um, an indent. So when that goes in there and that pin drops down there, it sits nicely in that groove and stops that pulling back. So when you're when you're unwinding and, and moving the, the movable jaw, that pulls that back. Now if the if you buy one of these and it's covered in all sorts because you know it's likely to be reasonably old 
you may miss that and then you're what you're trying to do is pull like crazy to get that out and so um that that's probably the most important part part of uh the whole uh, procedure um if we look at uh this one this was the old one and i talked about this being uh actually i've lied to you haven't i because i think i've got yeah sorry so i'm not sure what i said on the previous one but when you when you have this what you want is the smaller side uh, nearest the fixed jaw because when you're drilling when the jaws are in and you're drilling down what you want is as small a part of that exposed as possible because you could drill through it um, whereas if you have it around the other way you would have a lot of it exposed so it's important to remember to put that back um, in the, in the, uh, the correct way or if you've bought one of them and it's around the wrong way turn it around and, and correct it so uh, in true um, work, car workshop manuals you uh, reassemble it in the reverse order so um, it's it's worth taking the time to clean these up because uh, they are quite fragile they're not because this one is, is in a terrible state and I actually think it's probably beyond repair I may try and see if I can do something to to straighten this um, and, uh, uh, but I'm, I don't hold much hope and it's been drilled through quite a bit when you when you do get that jaw back it, it's not good so um, yeah so that's really it it's um it's not um it's not a giant task um but i think it is important to know about that um yeah so that's it hopefully it, it was helpful um like all of these uh these um uh, restoration and um uh, maintenance videos they're all easy when you know how to do it when you don't and you're faced with a bit of a problem they they can be um uh they can be a bit more of a challenge yeah yeah so uh well that's about it um so as always uh um thanks for watching uh stay happy strong and healthy and uh, i'll see you on the next one cheerio